Construction activities are discontinuous, dispersed, diverse and distinct. These characteristics can easily overwhelm quality inspectors when they need to pay daily visits to multiple sites. As a result, quality records are often inappropriate and quality management appears to be post-event remedies. To improve quality management in job fields, we develop PI, which is short for Project ICE. PI is a vision-based system. It detects construction-related objects. It recognizes the activities of workers on foot in construction plants. Finally, it determines if there are any quality deviations or defects within these site activities. It treats the estimation from two perspectives, processes and results. Process-based quality control detects if construction operations follow their method statements. It will check activity types, durations, frequencies, intervals, and sequences. Result-based quality control detects if there are visual defects in the activity results. It implements this through visual object detection. We categorize site videos into three types according to their resolutions, far field, mid field, and near field. To protect workers' privacy, PI uses far field and then mid field videos in activity recognition. In far field and mid field videos, facial features are not be visible, which means PI cannot detect their identities. Near field videos are usually shot from a relatively near distance, for example, using motion cameras on helmets. Therefore, near field videos have rich details to support result based quality control, while they will not be used to activity recognition. Given far field or mid field stream, PI estimates actions and workspaces in six steps. First, it detects workers in each frame with a visual object detection method, resulting in sets of bounding boxes. Second, it tracks them across consecutive frames with a multiple object tracking method, resulting in sets of tracklets in the form of bounding box sequences. Third, it recognizes actions with a deep learning based action recognition method, labeling tracklets with action classes. Fourth, it projects action positions into the floor plan coordinate. Fifth, it classifies actions into different workspaces assuming that action classes and locations semantically define workspaces. And finally, actions are clustered with a density-based clustering algorithm in terms of their classes and locations, and workspaces defined by the clustered actions are visualized. Following this procedure, I can tell us what activities are going on and where, how many man hours have been used, as well as activity durations, frequencies, intervals, and sequences. Finally, it evaluates the activities according to these information items against their method statements to identify if there are any quality deviations. PI is non-intrusive and requires little additional costs in its implementation, since surveillance cameras are commonly used on construction sites. PI has the potential to liberate human inspectors from tedious site inspections and manual documentation. Also, PI can be easily extended to improve site resource and safety management.